Hello everyone and welcome to Short Burst Gaming and today we are here with a new series. This is going to be the Battle Spot series for singles Pokemon. We're doing Battle Spot VGC uh, on the channel as well. If you want to go check that out, be sure to go check it out on the channel. But uh, we're going to be trying out Battle Spot singles. So I have, I don't think I've done Battle Spot singles since like X and Y, so forgive me if this is terrible. And also, I'm kind of just working with what I have right now. Um, I power saves kind of let out a few things but not everything's out yet so like i can't change natures or uh what else can't i change do, 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 do. um ivs i can't change yet so i did do a lot of bottle cap stuff with these pokemon and i i worked with what i could so and i grabbed some of the pokemon i already bred like beware and marowak are bred so marowak isn't great because it's brave it's a trick room marowak that i bred so, um, I'd rather have an admin in one or stuff, but again, I can't change anything right now. So we're just working with what we have. So, and this team also isn't the best either, <laughs> because again, work with stuff we have. So we have Marowak, uh, who is brave with Thick Club. It also has Protect, because again, it's a VGC Marowak. Um, and then we have Beware, Assault Vest Beware. Uh, we have Tapu Koko. This is a mixed Tapu Koko with uh, Sky Drop, U-Turn. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, and it also has the Ferium Z, so it can one AKO Garchomps. We also have Garchomp on our team, uh, uh, who's supposed to be Choice Scarf. I don't have a Choice Scarf, though, and I tried doing the Battle Tree, and then I got boned while I was in the Battle Tree, so I ended up losing, but I do have a Life Orb on him. I have a Scissorite on Scissor, so we're bringing Mega Scissor. This is Sassy Mega Scissor, too, uh, it's instead of Adamant. I got this from Wonder Trade from somebody, so thank you who sent out Scythers on, uh, the, uh, during the holiday season, because his name is Holiday, um, but he is Sassy. And then we have a Gyarados. Um, this Gyarados has Rosberry, because I don't have a Lumberry for some reason, so we just have Rosberry on there. Um, so we're going to hit this. Again, we're going to be making better teams as we go, but for right now, this is the resources I had. So we're just working with, again, what I had. So let's find a nice little fun song for us. Let's go Battle Royale for our first battle. As you can see, I have not done anything yet on the singles battle spot ladder. But if you're excited to see this series, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already, because we'd love to have you here on the Sharp Dress Gaming channel. We've actually been growing pretty good recently, so thank you guys for that as well. If you are com if you are current current subscriber to the channel, thank you very much. I love that. I love that. I love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Can we find somebody? It's only eleven thirty here. Come on, come on, somebody. Somebody once told me the world was going. There we go. Fifteen oh eight rated player from Japan. Let's see. What they are bringing. Ooh, they're bringing a Type Null and a Lolan Executor, Buzzwall, Emolga, uh, Scissor, and Torkoal. So, Marowak actually looks really good here. We can Bone Meringue the uh, Torkoal. We can Flare Blitz the Scissor and the Buzzwall. Um, that's about it, because the Executor is neutral to our Flare Blitzes. Uh, Type Null, neutral to all of our hits, is immune to our Shadow Bone. And then Emolga... Uh, Im is immune to our bone meringue, but I believe Marowak will be able to clean up pretty well here. Choo -choo -choo -choo. We can bring Garchomp as well. Garchomp does pretty good. And then for the final Pokemon, I don't know why he has a Molga because a Molga gets Motor Drive, so I assume that's why he brought it in the first place. But he doesn't really have an electricity weakness to exploit it. I could bring Gyarados and just kind of set up. So I'm going to lead Gyarados set up. I'm going to bring Marowak and Garchomp. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I can Dragon Dance up with Gyarados uh, with what it, pretty much against whatever he leads with. And, and then uh, we got Garchomp and Marowak in the back to clean up. We do have a lot of physical attackers, and even the Tapu Koko is mixed. Um... Wait, I'm trying to think. Do we have a special attacker at all? Like a straight special attacker? So we have the Gyarados, we have the Garchomp, we have the Beware, we have the Skizzer, we have, what else? The Tapu Koko, obviously. Oh, the Marowak. So we don't even have a designated special attacker, so that's definitely going to need a change. But again, I'm just kind of working with what I have. I just covered weaknesses and worked with what I had, so. We can just straight da Dragon Dance here, because the Scissor cannot do anything to us, especially when he's intimidated like this. Well, this is like a hidden power of electric scissor. But I don't think that's the case now, do I? 
We got this nice and shiny Gyarados too. I made it shiny so I could differentiate it from it from my um, other Gyarados, uh, which isn't ready yet. It's still a Magikarp because I want to keep all of my Gen Pokemon to the side and then have all of my red Pokemon in one area so I know which is which so I can slowly get rid of the Gen Pokemon as I get my Pokemon bred legitimately. It's just something I want to do this season. I want to try and do, rely on power saves less unless I really have to. Uh, like for league formats and stuff where I need to make new teams every week and for videos and then slowly phase out the other months. He is just going to straight up uh, not Dragon Dance, um, freaking Mega Evolve here. And he's not bullet punching, so maybe you turning? Yeah. He might have been hoping I was Mega Gyarados, but in fact I am not. I am just normal Gyarados. I am Mega Scissor, like you are. But I didn't bring my scissor, because it's not going to be useful against you. So I got the nice Dragon Dance up. Um, I'm trying to think. Amolga. Buzzwall actually comes out. Buzzwall. I also don't think Buzzwall can really touch us. Does Buzzwall get Rock Slide? He might. I'm just going to go for Waterfall here. See how much I can do after a plus one. See how much I can do after a plus one. Ooh, that's still a three-hit KO. He's going to go for Poison Jab, though. So that's the best thing he has to hit me with. Ooh, that's going to bring me to a point where he will be able to knock me out in two hits. And he's got Leftovers, so I think that saves him from a three-hit KO down to a four-hit. But I'm just going to go for another Waterfall. Let's go for another Waterfall here. Go Try and go for a flinch. Doesn't get it. Poison Jab's going to go off here. Should knock us out. Oh, it doesn't! And we don't get poisoned. And it looks like water, another, another Waterfall will KO him, which is perfect, because I can just Waterfall here and knock out the Buzzswall. That's really nice. So we get rid of the Buzzswall. He brought both of his bug types when I had an Alolan Marowak. That's surprising. So I think he just brings in Scissor here and Bullet Punches. So we're going to switch out. We're going to switch out because Mama ain't raised no fool. There's Scissor. Mama ain't raised no fool, son. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's worth bringing Garchomp in here. Or if I just go straight to Marowak. Because most Scissors, from what I've seen, carry Thief for Alolan Marowak. And he's going to outspeed us because we're brave like an idiot. Because I can't do anything about that currently. And I was just trying to get this video recorded so we had something for tomorrow. Or Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to get Gyarados out of here. We can recycle the Intimidate. Maybe outspeed his last Mon. Garchomp does resist Bullet Punch. Oh, he goes for Swords Dance? Are you kidding me? I could have waterfalled the crap out of you, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Um, I just go for Earthquake here because he resists Dragon Claw. Uh, Rock Slide's neutral. He's immune to Poison Jab. Earthquake is Stab and neutral. He goes for sword stance. Either he's really good and he called me on it, or he's willing to let Scissor take a bunch of damage, which is just ludicrous. Does he not have poison jab? I mean, bullet punch? He's got sword stance, he's got U-turn. That did half. That did half. So if he's not able to KO... I don't know that... A... Well, I mean, plus four bullet punch might take us out, but if it doesn't, he's dead half. Either he's trying to put all the... Oh, yeah, he's got a bullet punch. I was going to say, either he's trying to put all of his eggs in one basket here. Live, 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 live. Shit. <sighs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. So he's got sword stance, bullet punch, U-turn. Does he have thief? I'm going to bring him down to plus three at least. And then hope Marowak can take him, but he won't be able to. Or he won't be able to take a hit. He'll be able to knock out Scissor. It's just he won't be able to uh, take the hit, you know. So I do believe that means we lose, because he does have Bullet Punch. Okay, if I would have just stayed in with this Gyarados and killed you. If I would have just stayed in and Waterfalled, we would have won. So maybe he is really smart and called me on it. I don't know. I do not know, guys. But Mer I mean, we do four times resist... I mean, Bullet Punch is still able to take out Garchomp and resist, so I'm going to Shadow Bone in case for some ungodly reason he he has Iron Head. Do we live that? I think we do. Don't don't flinch me. 
Ah, suck it. Shadow Bone, I mean, his last mon's gonna knock... I was gonna say, does that not knock out? But his last mon's gonna outspeed and knock us out. Because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again, we're brave. Is he Mulga? Emil, Emil. I believe Air Slash kills us. So Mulga just kind of suck. He forfeited? What? He only has electric type moves? Wait, what? what? Why? Why'd you do that? What? How did we win that? Why'd you bring a Mulga? <laughs> All these questions racing through my brain. Why did he forfeit? He must have not had any attacking moves other than like Volt Switch or something. Which, in that case, you still try it because what if I'm Rockhead for because I'm an idiot? I don't know, dude. Do you, I guess. Do you. So we win our first one somehow. <laughs> Even though we should not have because he made the play and swords danced. I don't know, man. I do not know. I do not know, but we're going to go for a second battle of today's episode. We will be doing two per episode unless one gets really short for some reason. 1587 rated player. Okay. Uh, we see a Shinotic, a Cloyster, Amanda Buzz, Metagross, which is probably Mega. Um, Delmize and Muck. A lot of Alolan Muck. A lot of cool Pokemon we don't get to see when we're playing VGC, so I like that. Marowak does good against three of his mons. Four of his mons, sorry. But the Anduas and a Cloyster, which get bodied by Tapu Koko. So I think we lead Tapu Koko. Bring Marowak. And that covers his entire team, but I think I want to bring Garchomp. Yeah, Garchomp, uh, Earthquake, the Metagross, Rock Slide, the Mandibuzz, Earthquake, the thing, Muck, Poison Jab, the Shinotic, Rock Slide, the Cloister. Yeah, sounds good to me. I mean, there's a lot of things that have super effective damage for Garchomp, too, which isn't great. And I kind of wanted to bring Gyarados just for the Intimidate, but what can you do? I mean, now that I think about it, Earthquake on Metagross, uh, Ice Fang on Shinotic, Ice Fang on Mandibuzz, um, nothing for the Cloyster, and then I forget his last Pokemon. Muck. Earthquake for Muck, too. I should have brought Gyarados. He's going to lead Shinotic, though. So do I bother staying in, or do I just U-turn out here? He's going to spore me, right? I wonder if Shinotic can take a Sky Drop or not. I kind of want to try it. Oh, Pokemon can't go to sleep in the electric terrain, though. I'm going to sky drop him. Because I don't know that he's what he's going to do exactly. He's going to withdraw. Okay. Into what? Muck. Muck. Oh, this is this is bad. See? Damn it. So, this is one reason not to run sky drop. Because now he can just poison jab me and kill me dead. Oh. Uh, because I'm hasty too, so I'm gonna die to a poison jab. That's bad because Tapu Koko is so good against this team. I should have U-turned. He gunk shots so though. You couldn't have missed that. Ow. So I'm dead. Damn it. That sucks. Critical hit. Didn't matter. I'm hasty. <laughs> that sucks, man. I could bring in. <sighs> I could bring in Marowak, but I don't think it's worth it. Because I'm going to take a hit from this thing, and it's going to be knockoff. So I'd rather just bring in my own Chompy Chew. I'm going to go for Earthquake. It probably won't knock him out, though. And if this is like VGC, I don't know if Lolan Mux... Oh. I'll carry the Gluttony Figgy Berry. Oh, he brings in Mandibuzz. Damn it, Mandibuzz. We're going to lose. We lose. We lose because we lost Tapu Koko. So, I think I'm definitely changing Sky Drop to Brave Bird. I don't think Sky Drop is good in singles. Because, again, Tapu Koko outspeeds a lot of Pokemon. And it's while it's cool to pick him up and stuff, that was bad because then he got a free hit on us. So, yeah, I think we're changing that to Brave Bird. As much as I don't like the recoil, it's better than just getting bodied because of things like that. better than getting bodied, dude. I get the rock slide off. I don't know that Mandibuzz can do much to us, though. It is a three-hit KO. Can we flinch him? <laughs> Just asking for flinches every day? Foul play. Okay, that's gonna hurt. 
Ow. Does he have leftovers? He doesn't. So, I mean, if we connect Rock Slide... We do. I should bring him to a point where uh, Foul Play will knock him out. And then it's Marowak versus the world. You Roos. You cuck. Does this bring him up to enough where he'll live another one? It does. God damn it. If I still had frickin' Tapu Koko, we would be looking so good right now. I should have just U-turned. I should have just U-turned. Flinch him this time. Come on, Garchomp. We're due for a flinch. We're due for a flinch, my dude. This is so stupid. I hate this. That's why I hate singles. Because there's so much more stall in singles than there is in doubles. I mean, yeah, there's still there's still stall in doubles, but it's not as bad as it is in singles. Flinch them. Flinch them. We're going to die from our own life orb. God damn it. And I can't switch into Marowak because foul play is probably one hit KOs us. God, this is stupid. <sighs> there it is. There it is. Oh, my God. I'm just running. At this point... Oh, shit. At this point, it's not even worth it. Stick around. We'll do another battle, guys. That was dumb. Okay. So I'm going to avoid using Skydrop now? <laughs> I mean, good on him, bringing in the muck. But he didn't know I had Skydrop. Tapu Cocos don't run Skydrop. I could have easily just... I don't know. What do you think I was going to do? That he could bring in the muck that freely, and I wouldn't just body him on the following turn. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not him. I mean, if I had forgotten that, I mean, there's nothing, well, we would have just had to make, like, crazy plays to begin with to be able to win that last one, but if I would have forgotten that Electric Train doesn't put us to sleep, I probably would have switched to Garchomp. I don't know. I don't know, but we do see Haxorus and Salamence, two Dragon types, uh, two Ghost types with Alolan Marowak and Mimikyu, two Fairy types with Mimikyu and Ninetales, and then Milotic. Um, he might bring the Milotic. I wonder if it's competitive. Competitive Milotic. I don't know. Again, do they do that in singles? I don't know. Where do you come from? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Tapu Koko outspeeds everything. It's just that if Marowak wants to come, I'm sure it is. I'm still going to lead Tapu Koko. This time we're going to U-turn, though. Uh, Skizzer kind of does good against a lot of these Pokemon here. Garchomp does too. But Gyarados does. and <laughs> Everything just does good. Marowak. Gyarados. I'm going to bring Gyarados. I don't want to go... Uh, I'm going to go Skizzer. Because then we can bullet punch the uh, Ninetales. I should put Thief on the scissor for Alolan Marowax too, but I also have to out be able to outspeed them, so the scissor wouldn't work with Thief. <laughs> this scissor would not work with Thief, unfortunately. What's my last move on scissor? I know I have Swords Dance, I have U-Turn, I have Bullet Punch. Iron Head. I have Iron Head too, so I can get around uh, Tapu Lele's. Tapu Lele. Let's see if we can win the final match of our first episode. We have Haxorus leading off, which isn't bad for us. I can one-hit KO this thing. I can one-hit KO this thing. As long as it's not Focus Sash, at least. As long as it's not Focus Sash. He probably doesn't know I have Ferium Z. I'm sure a lot of Tapu Kokos don't carry it. Let me get fruity on you guys. No offense. But watch this dance. <laughs> He's going to withdraw the Haxorus. Whatever comes in is taking a big hit, though. Alolan Marowak. 
Okay. I guess to resist the fairy type move that's coming in, but it it is a Z move, so you uh, taking a hit, boy. You taking a hit, boy. You taking this hit. Twinkle tackle. Okay, I wish Tapu Koko got play rough. It's attack stats so much higher, but it doesn't get any like it gets wild charge and brave bird. Or it's good physical moves. Wow, that did nothing. Nothing. That did nothing. I was about to sky drop, but no, I'm just gonna U-turn out of here. A U turn out into the Gyarados. And if he switches into Milotic, then we know not to bring in Gyarados because he's trying to bait the competitive. Or bait the Intimidate for his competitive. I think is what's happening here. If not, then whoopsie. Okay, he stays in. He does stay in. So now I can bring in Gyarados. And he's either Flare Blitz near Bone Meringue. Or maybe Shadow Bone, but any which way. I mean, we resist Flare Blitz. Bone Meringue goes underneath us. Yep, goes underneath us. Perfect. We should be able to freely Dragon Dance on him, though, too. Because he might switch Haxorus in trying to resist. But I most likely have Ice Fang, so, you know. He's going to withdraw the Marowak. Save it for later. In comes the Milotic. He does have it. I would have assumed for sure then that he would have switched it in there trying to bait out my Gyarados. But, I mean, to each his own. I mean, he might try it again if it comes down to it, but since I am a Dragon Dance up, I can Earthquake here. I should have I should have Dragon Danced again because we have Rosberry, so we can take a Scald if that's what he's going to try and go for here. Wow, that's a 2 hit KO, though. He's going to Toxic. If I had Lumberry! If I had a freaking Lumberry... I mean, that's fine, because what... I mean, Gyarados takes the game from here, doesn't he? I mean, I Earthquake, so my Lotic can't recover for free. I re Earthquake, so my Lotic can't recover... My, lot my lady. My Lotic can't recover for free. And then whoever comes in, I hit for super effective damage, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You are done. Somewhere toxic. He brings in Haxorus, I assume. Because he's not Scarfed. If he was Scarfed, he would have stayed in Earthquake, my Tapu Koko. In comes a Haxorus, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to see Mole Breaker. But I just Ice Fang here. It probably won't take him out. Haxorus is fairly bulky. Close, though. And he's going to get his own Dragon Dance up. Does Haxorus outspeed Gyarados? I am also Jolly Gyarados. Hmm. I mean, if he does, we bullet punch him. I'm going to try an Earthquake right now. If he outspeeds, uh, yeah, that sucks. But if he doesn't, then cool. We win. Gyarados sweeps him. Haxorus does. He outraged, though. That was a mistake. I mean, I don't know that he had another move to hit us with. Because he's got Outrage. He probably has Earthquake. Dragon Dance. I don't know what his last move was, but I'm pretty sure it was better than Outrage because I'm a Fairy type. And you can't switch out, so that means I kill you. But I don't know how I'm going to kill the uh, Marowak. the only problem now. Um, I just go for Dazzling Gleam. And then I have to sky drop. <laughs> Outrage doesn't work. There we go. I guess the one thing I... Um, I mean, if I would have brought in Tapu Koko, I I wasn't necessarily expecting the, dra the Outrage, though, is a thing. All right. So here we sky drop. We sky drop this fool. So hopefully we can get him within range of Bullet Punch. Whoop! 
Hopefully we can get him within range of Bullet Punch here. That's the only thing we can hope for at this point. Sky drop. God, that does nothing! Tapu Koko, you suck! Miss. Damn it. Tapu Koko, you freaking suck, dude. Why is that not doing any damage? Why does that not do any damage, dude? Oh, it's a base 60 power move. No wonder why it doesn't do any damage. Why did I choose Sky Drop? It's another game we lose because I have Sky Drop instead of Brave Bird. Because there's no way Scissor out speeds. I Mega Evolve here. I go for Bullet Punch. I mean, even if he uses Flare Blitz and knocks himself out, he still wins. Because he faints second. Because he faints second. Bullet Punch Crit! God, that does nothing. There's the Flare Blitz. <laughs> so definitely we are switching up our Tapu Koko. Because Skydrop has let us down two different games now. Skydrop has lost us two different games now. So we are definitely putting Brave Bird on to Tapu Koko. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today again. I told you, this wasn't going to be a great episode, but we did it. We did it. Um, we got really close to a couple of them. Um, I guess I should have uh, when the Haxorus was plus one. I mean, again, I didn't know he had Outrage, and I didn't know he was going to go for it. So I could have switched in Scissor. Um, when Gyarados was out, so then he'd take the Outrage, and then seeing he had Outrage, I'd switch into Tapu Koko, or what I, no, I'd just Bullet Punch there, take out the Haxorus, and then, um, we, uh, and then, uh, Marowai comes in, we hit it with a Bullet Punch, whatever, blah blah, and then Gyarados comes in and kills the Marowak, so we could have won that one, but, you know, horse wax but again yeah again i didn't know he was gonna go for outrage but but still scissor would have been able to bull punch ko him so if i would have just saved the gyarados we could have won but anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today again leave suggestions down in the comment section below this is going to be one where you can actually suggest pokemon t that you want to see this one and the doubles battle spot are going to be like that the vgc one's going to be more of um working on a certain team and i do take suggestions there but this is this is more of the viewers stuff you can kind of be like hey i want to see this pokemon i'll be like all right cool i'll try and make it work but anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today we'll see you next time stay sharp everyone